This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. Flash devices are either going to be a solid state disk that we actually put in our server, like a SATA disk, or it's going to be a PCIe device that we'll put in our server in a PCIe slot. And those flash devices are normally much, much faster than a normal magnetic disk. Not quite as fast as the memory that's in our server, but still very fast. And when we add a flash resource to an ESXi host, we can then use that flash resource for the swap file, for uh, the system swap for the ESXi host, or a read cache for virtual disks that are connected to a virtual machine. So to add a flash resource that, so that it can be used for the host swap cache or for virtual disks, we just go to an ESXi host, go to settings, and scroll all the way down here to virtual flash resource management, and I'm going to click on add capacity. So I'll check the box here. I'm going to add this disk because it's flash. And if we don't see our disks here, then it could be that they have partitions on them or they're not marked as flash. And we'll take a look at that in a second. I'll go ahead and click OK. Okay, and it was able to add the virtual flash resource. And you can see here how much is free of that virtual flash resource. Now let's go down to virtual flash host swap cache configuration. So we've got our, our system swap here. And if we want to use some of this cache of this PCIe or SSD device that we have configured, we can go ahead and add it here. I'll go ahead and edit it. So we can enable virtual flash host swap cache. How much of that storage do we want to use? Let's say I want to allocate, I don't know, uh, 10 gigs so that the host can use it. Just type in 10 and click OK. And the rest that's available, if we go back here, we can see 10 less is now available because we use 10 for the host. We can use the rest of this as 193.8 gigs for uh, VMDKs, virtual disks, for a read cache. And we'll see how to do that more in depth when we go into virtual machine administration. But real quick, I've got a virtual machine here. Let's go to edit settings. And we're just going to expand out our virtual disk. And down here, virtual flash read cache. So we can specify how many gigs we want to use for this virtual disk as a read cache for that flash device that we added. 